a lot like Christmas. And that means it's time for some mince pies. Oh yes, Ooh, that was the Willie Carson um, jig there. And now I'm gonna teach you how to make my type of mince pies, which is very, very good. Okay, first up, I've got a jar of mince meat that I bought. Right, so we're gonna pop that into a bowl. Put that all in. I like to add some extra bits to it and a little tad more booze. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna be using some Grand Marnier or you could use some brandy or a bit of rum even, you know, whatever tipple you fancy, or none at all. So that's entirely up to you. So just pour the whole jar. This is a 400 gram jar of minced meat. So to the minced meat I'm adding, um, this is 100 grams of fruit or just about one cup of fruit. This is, I've got dried mixed fruit there. It's got raisins, sultanas, and a bit of this orange kind of candied peel. So you can use whatever dried fruit you like, to be quite honest. So mix that in. Now I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of some nuts or two, there we go. So you could use almonds or walnuts, whatever you fancy, just to give a bit of a crunch. And now I'm also gonna add a couple of tablespoons or two or three of some Grand Marnier. Give that all a lovely soak in. So I'm gonna add the zest of one orange. So we're just gonna mix this all together and leave it for about half an hour so that the dried fruit can soak up the juices and get nice and plump. While you're waiting for your fruit to soak, you can get on and make the pastry. Now I'm gonna use 300 grams, almost forgot then, 300 grams of plain flour. There we go. And I'm actually, it's really easy to make your own pastry. So we're making a sweet short crust pastry and I actually use my food processor to do it. If you don't have a food processor, do not worry. Um, all you have to do is pop all the ingredients in a big bowl and use your fingertips to rub it into fine breadcrumbs and then it's gonna form a ball of dough. But it's a lot quicker in the food processor, which is why I'm using it. So all the flour is going in, there you go. And to the flour, right, I'm gonna bring you over now to the food processor. 200 grams of butter, cold butter, unsalted, Okay, that is best for pastry. When you do pastry, everything has to be cold, even your hands, work surface. And now I've got 75 grams of caster sugar. Uh, you can, that's about, it was just under a quarter, uh, no, just under half a cup. So I sprinkle that in. Okay, now we're just gonna whiz this together until it forms a ball. a little pinch of salt, just a pinch going in there, about half a teaspoon. I'm going to put now a tablespoon, just one tablespoon of some really cold water going in and that's to help bring it all together. Now the uh, now it's beginning to form kind of like bigger lumps and we can start to bring it together now, probably using your hands is fine. Okay, there we have pastry. Now I'm just trying to Push it all into a ball. Okay. And you can just bring this together gently. It doesn't need kneading like uh, bread dough or anything like that. In fact, the less you handle it, probably the better. Okay. Pastry does not like heat. And so it's always best to do it on a really cold work surface. And you know, if you've got cold hands as well, that is good. You can leave your pastry to rest in the fridge whilst you get your baking trays out and your cutters and things like that. Um, what I, oh, I'm actually just going to go straight ahead and use it, but I'm going to cut off a third and keep that chilled in the fridge whilst I'm dealing with the uh, remainder of the pastry. Oh, cling film, come out. Right, okay, so just wrap that up, otherwise it will dry out. Now uh, that's going to go in the fridge for a little bit. Now, lightly flour your work surface. There we go. And you're rolling in. And we're just going to roll the two thirds of the pastry out. Very lightly. This is quite a delicate 
pastry and it's gonna come out really light and um, buttery and just oh, perfect for mince pies. About half a centimeter thick. Now we're just gonna cut out the base of the mince pies with a circle cutter, okay? And I've got my oven preheated to 200 degrees C, that's gas mark six. And I've got my, uh, my baking tin ready, the one with the holes in. This is quite a shallow one, which is perfect for the mince pies. So just go ahead, cut 12 of these circles out. Right, little tip is to sprinkle a little bit of flour on your baking tray before you put the uh, pastry in and this will help them come out later. Oh yes, otherwise you're gonna break them all trying to get them out, which would not be good. No, no, no. So a little bit of flour there. Now I'm just gonna pop each uh, little pastry base inside. Now don't push them in too hard either. You really want them to come out nice and easily later. So just gently place them in. Right, they're all in there. Now I'm gonna roll out the top part, so. And I'm gonna now use stars for the top. Now I like stars on the top, I think it looks nice. You could do circles, whatever you want really. Get really creative. Now you only need uh, about a decent sized teaspoon or so. Now, I do put my star on. A little brush of egg on the star. Or you could use a bit of milk if you wanted to. And this basically just helps it to brown up a little bit. It'll turn nice and golden brown. So, straight in the oven, which has been preheated. Okay. And they will only take about between 12 and 15 minutes to cook. Oh my days, these smell good. Mm. Right, this is what they should look like when they come out of the oven, nice and golden. Leave them for five minutes in the tray. Take them out after that whilst they are still warm. Using a spoon, pop them on a wire rack and leave them to cool. Don't, uh, a little tip, don't leave them to cool in the tray because if some of the, spill, the filling has oozed out like this one, that will stick, you see, if it goes cold, and you'll never be able to get it out. All right, so take them out when they are still warm. Mince pies have cooled just slightly, and I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of ice and sugar. This is my tea strainer, which doubles up as a sieve. Okay, so just get a little bit. A little sprinkle on top. If you want to go the extra mile this Christmas, I've got a lovely little uh, treat that will go with it. I've got a bowl of clotted cream, which is practically like butter. I'm going to put some orange zest in that. Half a tablespoon of sugar. Sugar. And a drop. Of grandma, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Now that is how you make mince pies. Mm. Oh, nothing like a homemade mince pie. Now it really feels like Christmas. And I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Please subscribe if you haven't, if you like the videos. Stay tuned for plenty more. And um, mm, I hope you really enjoy. Let me know what you think of this recipe. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Happy Christmas.